Thank you for checking out this video. My name is George. In this video, we will look at the input and output devices available in the Gorilla Cell Development Kit. I find it necessary to discuss this so that we can have a good foundation before we dive deeper in each and every modules available later on. A module in a kit can be either an input device or an output device. It is an input device if we read or get data from it, for example, a switch or a sensor. It is an output device if we write or control or give data to it in order to function, for example, an LED, an LCD, or a motor. Input and output devices, or I.O. devices for short, are categorized as either digital or analog. Digital I.O. device is a device that uses discrete values, either 1 or 0, either true or false, either high or low, either 3.3 volts or 0 volts. This type of device is the easiest to interface with because it only deals with two values. Example of digital input device are a button or a touch sensor. While an example of digital output device are an LED or a buzzer. While analog I.O. device is a device that uses varying voltages. In ESP32, the value could range from 0 volts to maximum of 3.3 volts. ADC is used to read analog input device, while DAC is used to write to analog output device. Examples of analog input device are a joystick or a slider switch. Examples of analog output device could be a buzzer if you use DAC to control the sound or maybe control the speed of the DC motor using PWM because PWM emulates or imitates or copy the functionality of analog output device. But that one is still digital interface. Another type of I.O. devices could be called as spatial I.O. device. These are devices that works on its own, independently, and in order to read from it or write to it, we need to communicate by using communication protocols such as UART serial, I squared C, SPI, one wire communication, and etc. Examples of a spatial type of input device could be the DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor, which use a one wire communication, while an example of a spatial type output device could be an LCD. Because if you need to display anything from here, you need to communicate through the I squared C communication to display something on this LCD. So that's all for now. I hope you learned something from this. If you have any concern about this video, please do write your question in the comment box below. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and share this to your friends so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. You might also like to visit my companion blog post at techtotinker.blogspot.com. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified when a fresh video like this is uploaded. Thank you and God bless. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Happy tinkering!